I found that being diagnosed with borderline personality disorder wasn't going to be the end all for me. I found it actually brought me closer to being mindful. And that's what this whole video is, is me demonstrating how I am realistic with being mindful. It's a practice, so I'm always learning how to improve. Um, I've just started practicing really, and uh, I'm gonna cry, but it's just, it's brought so much joy to my life when before, you know, there wasn't a lot of joy, so I hope you enjoy this video. I made some syrup. Oh. I have to show you my garden. So I left this going too long. Uh oh. This is what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to kind of get the plant to be alive again. Right now it's just in its stage of being a little, a little bye bye. Yep, so I'm gonna go shut off the water. Look at that basil though. Wow. Always impressed. And then we have sweet flowers. Yes. Can you see how proud I am of my garden? This is my first year of doing any gardening and it turns out really amazing for me mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, everything that I could ever want. I'm not sure if it's because I did cleaning for a whole summer, but I love it. I love the whole act of being able to remove physical dust, physical grime from your living space where you're at so often. Um, it Cleaning just is remarkable in what it does for me in all aspects, again, in my life, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, um, and I think that's all. Physically, that's it. Remodeling is really amazing for me in a way of being present because I can move things around when I feel like it. And this is amazing because I'm always wanting to be as present as I can. So I like to use the furniture that my family already has as a way to move more so physically into a present state of mindset. This is something new, but I'm starting to hang my art on the wall and it just brings out so much joy in me when I can look and see a beautiful artwork that I did the other day. Just a girl trying to be the boss of the world. Just a girl. from Target. It's e.l.f. Uh, the shade is Seriously Satin. Um, it was 90 cents. That's right everyone, 90 cents. It does. This lipstick does taste like crayon a little bit. A method of mindfulness that I am picking up again is note-taking. I have 
not gotten this habit down. Not that I need to force myself to do any of these, but it does make my day a lot smoother of a transition. But me just taking notes randomly and, you know, I'm here I am taping notes onto a sheet of paper, just adding, you know, an, another texture to the whole note taking option. But this method of note taking, like just me taking notes is something that really, really, really helps bring my awareness to the current present moment. I love doing dishes and I am so grateful that I've realized how important it is when it comes to being mindful. I get in the present moment every single time I do dishes. It doesn't matter how many, it doesn't matter how long it takes, I just feel so present when I leave. Basil, baby, basil. Tell me, what do you know? What is the secret to life? This is one of the coolest ways that I learn to be mindful. I just pick up whatever is on the flat surfaces of my vicinity. Usually it's a bunch of stuff that doesn't take long to put away and typically it's in like the same places. So even though I might be going back and forth a lot, it is making me mindful of how long do I put things different places and like maybe even finding a couple of things. Ha <laughs> 
The more that I get into meditation, the more that I understand how powerful it really is for my health. Like seriously, it's so amazing. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support in everything that I do. If anything, take away drinking some water from this video.